Does swimming burn calories? The answer is yes, but you need a pool if you want to lose weight by daily swimming. So if you can afford a pair of running shoes, you are all set to lose weight efficiently. Because when it comes to losing weight, it's hard to beat running alongside a smart eating plan. Jason Machowski, a board-certified sports dietitian and exercise psychologist at Hospital for Special Surgery, reinforces running is a great way to burn calories and build up cardiovascular function. However, if your goal is fat loss, nutrition is just as important. But it's also important to know the correct process. You should know how to run and what it takes to lose weight through running. Without wasting a single second, let's start with the first step. Number 1. Variety is key. If you want to lose weight, you need to avoid doing the same workouts every day. Sandra Gallagher Moeller, CEO and run coach of I Run Tons, explains that exclusively doing steady state cardio won't build the necessary muscle mass to fire up your metabolism. A mix of very easy runs some days, faster tempo runs other days, and intervals on days in between is the way to build muscle and burn calories. Number 2. Don't overdo it. Excessive, intense workouts equal burnout and injuries. Running faster doesn't mean being stronger if you don't give yourself a break. So let's keep it five days a week. You can do a simple walk on the remaining two days of the week, so your muscles can relax and get time to heal. Number 3. Running more shouldn't mean eating more. Sometimes when people start running, they feel like they can eat more because they earned the calories from running. When the goal is weight loss, however, we want those extra calories to go toward building a deficit where the body pulls from the calorie reserves in our body. Number 4. Think again about carb loading. Most runners overestimate their calorie expenditure for running and overconsume calories. Figure the average 150 pound runner requires 1,500 to 2,000 calories a day, 1,500 to 1,700 if trying to lose a few pounds, and expends between 300 and 600 calories a run for the average paced. 30 to 60 minute session. If you have a tennis ball of cereal at breakfast, a sandwich at lunch, and just a mere cup of pasta at dinner, you've already consumed 750 calories more than expended on the run. Number 5. Opt for healthy fat. Our bodies need dietary fat to lose weight and function properly. Still, many runners are overdoing the healthy fats these days, eating nuts, whole avocados, and so called healthier oils like coconut and flax. Figure out how many calories you need and how much you burn daily. Create a plan for calorie deficit and only take calculated calories each day. Number 6. Focus on fueling your long runs. If you are performing a short run, less than 60 minutes, you don't need anything but water during your workout. However, longer runs, especially those on hot or humid weather, can benefit from added electrolytes and possibly even carbs to keep performance up. A few sips of a sports drink or an energy chew with water can go a long way. To wrap it up, please pay attention to your diet, create a calories deficit, and maintain it. Keep changing your running strategy and give your body rest after an interval so your muscles can heal. If you like our video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos. Check out these videos on your screen. They'll help you to achieve your health and fitness goals. See you in our next video.